Thank you, Jesus. And I'm going to ask the Lord what is on his heart today. Lord Jesus Christ, what is on your heart, Lord? What do you want to speak? What do you want to reveal, Lord Jesus Christ? Even while I was taking communion, I kept seeing this eye of a lion. This eye of a lion, like a, a keen eye. And I, I'm thinking of that scripture. It keeps bubbling up in my spirit while I was taking communion. Lord, what are you speaking here? I know the scripture, the eyes of the Lord look to and fro. Looking for those who will agree with me. And we say, here I am, Lord, send me. We know the seven eyes of the Lord are on the rock. Looking throughout all the earth. And, and I keep seeing this keen eye. And it's almost like the eye of a lion. And I know his eye is on the sparrow. And I know he watches me. The God who sees me. God who sees me. Lord, what are you speaking here? He's saying, El Roy, I, El Roy, El Roy, El Roy, El Roy. The God who sees, He sees you. He sees you. He's saying, I see you, says the Lord. I see you. Do not fear. I see you. My eye is upon you. Is there somebody here that's been praying, God, do you see me? Do you see me, God? Do you see me? He's saying, yes, I see you. You are precious in his sight. This eye, I mean, this eye is so keen. It's like this keen eye. It's like an eye of a lion. And it's just, it's, it's like lasering in, like looking. And it's the eye of the Lord. And he's, he's saying, I see, I see what's happening. I see you. Yes, Lord. Lord, why are you showing me this eye? Why are you showing me? The enemy thinks he can run and hide, but I, the Lord, see all. I, the Lord, see what the wicked are doing. They cannot hide from my sight. Understand, says the Lord. I see all. I see what they're doing in Ukraine. I see what they're doing around the world. Nothing, nothing, nothing escapes my vision. The wicked cannot hide. No matter how deep in the ground they try to go. Do they not know? I know everything that is done in the darkness. And it would be brought to light. 
all of their sins exposed for all to see. Ha! Huh. They think they can get people to feel sorry for them, have sympathy on them. If they turn from their wicked ways and fall to their knees and repent, I will have mercy. But they must repent right now. Those who have done wickedness, their sins are exposed to me, and I will expose them for the whole world to see. Turn now and repent, and the Lord, I, the Lord, will have mercy upon you. The more you lie, the more you run, the more you hide. The time is running short for the wicked. Turn and repent. The evil deeds that you've done in the dark are coming to light. He's saying you can put on your pink bows, put on your pink outfits, but that will not cover your sins. You could try to dress your sins up in a pretty little package, but no. They will be exposed for all to see. Humble yourselves under the mighty hand of the sovereign Lord. Repent. And I will have grace and mercy upon them, says the Lord. He's saying he's tearing back the paper. He says they've tried to put their sins into a pretty package and wrap it up in a little bow. But no. He's going to pull back the paper. He's saying his people will not be fooled by those pretty packages anymore. They're going to see through it. He's saying people don't want to look. They don't want to look at the things that he died for. They want to try to gloss over it and wrap their sin up in a pretty package, in a pretty bow. He's saying no more. Those packages are getting ripped open for all to see. All their ugliness will be on display. They have a chance to tell the truth and repent. And God will extend grace and mercy to them. He's saying their fine clothing, their pretty packages, it's all going to be ripped wide open. It's all going to be exposed. He's saying prepare the people because there's going to be major ugliness that's going to come forward. Some may not even be able to stomach it, but it's necessary. He's been waiting for a certain time. 
He's showing me those. You know how like those actors masks when you go into a theater or a play and it's like two little masks and one looks happy and one looks sad. He's showing me that. <gasps> oh my goodness. The masks are being ripped off. The masks are going to be ripped off. The masks are... This is about to be revealed. The actor's masks are going to be ripped off. And the evil is going to be exposed in all of its ugliness. Some may not be able to stomach it. Stomach it. But this is the timing that we're coming in. He said they could go deep in the ground to try and hide, but they, they can't outrun God. He's saying the earth himself, itself will vomit them out. What? If these evil, wicked ones try to go into their bunkers and go, the earth himself, the earth itself will vomit it out. The earth will no longer receive this wickedness. It'll vomit out this evil. Lord, is that what's happening with the mudslides? Is that like a, a vomiting that's happening? We know, Lord, when we pour the communion in the ground, you tell us to do that and repent that the earth vomits out these demons and they're, they're being, your angel armies are removing them. If we do communion, Lord, Will it vomit out these evil ones out of their bunkers, out of their hidey holes? Show me, yes. Wow. Woo! Oh, my gosh. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, gosh. Jesus. Oh my gosh. He's showing me a very powerful revelation that when we pour the communion in the ground, it's not just vomiting out the demons, but even where these demonic people are hiding in their bunkers and they're all, we know these tunnels are everywhere. The earth itself, the earth itself will open up these bunkers and these hiding places. God will bring a shaking. And open it up. You know, he's showing me, show me like those ant, you know, those ant hills that go way up under the ground, those little ant tunnels. He's saying a shaking will come in and open it up and bring it up to the surface. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Thank you, Jesus. Oh my goodness. That was intense. That was intense. We got to keep doing communion. We got to keep doing communion in the ground. We got to keep repenting and keep putting the communion in the ground. Because not only is it vomiting out the spiritual demons that are in the ground, but the, the ground will not hold what is evil underneath. There are bunkers. Their caves, all that stuff. The earth itself will shake and vomit them out. He's saying they'll be like ants coming out, trying to carry like something, like and, and they're gonna come out and they won't have anywhere to hide. I mean, a jolt from the Holy Spirit came on me so strong when he showed me the pouring of the communion on the ground and what happens. Lord, you want us to keep going. You want us to keep doing this. Yes, Lord. Yes, we will. We will. We will do it, Lord. We will be obedient. We will keep doing it, Lord. We will keep doing it. We will not be afraid. We will keep doing it. 
This is the time of judgment, my friends. We're right in the middle of it. We're right in the middle of it. Mm. He's saying like his servant, Benjamin Netanyahu, is exposing the tunnels of Hamas. He said, that's just the beginning. Get ready. And it's not just terrorist tunnels. It's going to be where they've been trafficking children. It's going to be, they're going to start, they're going to open up and be revealed. And the, the last of what the tunnels are left and it's going to be vomited out. They're going to be vomited out of there. He said they'll be like a little ant trying to carry one thing, like trying to salvage one thing. They will have nothing. They'll be completely humiliated and humbled. And they have a chance to fall on their knees and repent. And if they don't, My friends, we're coming into a time right now of great and glorious, wonderful things of the kingdom of God coming to earth. But there's a judgment and a cleansing that's happening in this process for all this to happen. You understand? And I know you want your loved ones to awake. But that was a very intense moment that just happened. It's, I felt that electricity, that power. And sometimes it's really hard to even stand it when it goes through you. This is, it's happening and God is doing this. And you're going to start seeing reports and exposure even more. We still have to pray for them. That they turn from their wicked ways and repent. But this is this there's there's a showdown happening. Father God, we thank you. We thank you for your Holy Spirit. We thank you, King Jesus. We thank you for this word. We thank you for revealing what's on your heart, that nothing, nothing, nothing can be hidden from you, Father God. Nothing can be hidden from you. We pray for those who are operating in wickedness, Father God, that, that your Holy Spirit will visit them. King Jesus will visit them. They will fall to their knees in repentance and repent and turn from their wicked ways and tell the truth. Thank you, Father, that you are... You are just and fair, and you are bringing justice, and you are saving your children. You're saving your people. You're saving, you're saving us, Father. We may not understand how you're doing it, but we trust you, Father God, and we are ready to do whatever you ask us to do. We are here, Father God. If We must continue to pray and do communion on the land as the land is vomiting out this evil and getting cleansed and prepare prepared for the great harvest of souls for Jesus Christ. We will do whatever you ask us to do. We will continue to pray over the land. We will continue to do communion. We want to do what our calling is for this time, for this season. We praise you, Father. Help us, Holy Spirit. Help us. Bring us into obedience. Help our families come together so we can all work together for the gospel as strong families for your kingdom. Give us health and the finances we need to do this, Father God, all for your kingdom and glory. We want to serve you with all of our being. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, amen. Whoa. All I can say is that was, 
that jolt went through me. This is going to be the power of God coming across the earth. And it's going to cause the earth to vomit. But we got to stand on solid ground and continue to pray and continue to get the communion, continue to cleanse the earth with the communion. God is the judge of these things, and he's bringing justice, but that doesn't mean we don't still pray. He doesn't want anybody to perish, but he's dealing with it. He sees it. The eye that I saw in the spirit was a, this keen eye, like it's like a like a lion or like a, I mean, it was, so, all I could say is a keen eye. And He's giving us revelation and also how to pray. So be encouraged by this word. And why is God doing this now? Because the earth has to be cleansed to prepare for this great harvest of souls that's coming for Jesus Christ. And the wicked are getting removed. It's getting cleansed. The earth is birthing the sons and daughters of God, us, to what do? The works of the Lord. To prepare for the return of King Jesus. When a bride readies for her husband, everything's got to be clean, ready, spick and span, spotless, right? This is the timing we're in, my friends. Say, Lord, here I am. Send me. What do you want me to do? I will do it. And you and your household will be saved. We're lifted up above the judgment. It's, we're, we're living in incredible times, my friends. Incredible, incredible. Oh, I felt that jolt go on my head. It went right through my body. Don't underestimate the power of the living God, I'm telling you. Don't underestimate it. I just thank you all for being here today. I love you all so much. It's been an amazing week, and it's going to get even better and greater. We're going to see more and more of God's glory operating in the earth. Keep taking communion, my friends. It's the most powerful thing you can do. He meets you at the table. You want to hear his voice? Invite him to the table. He will meet you there. He will talk to you. He's so faithful. He will give you revelation and understanding when you invite him to your table and sup with him. He actually yearns to be at your table. He yearns to talk to you. Just as much as you're yearning to talk to him, invite him. Keep taking communion. Invite him to the table. Go and pray over the land and invite him to be with you. He wants to partner with you in all this. He works with us and through us. King Jesus, Holy Spirit, it's all pleasing to the Father when we do these things. We are the kingdom of God in the earth. Be bold and courageous, my friends. The Lord God is with us everywhere we go. We have victory. Christ is the victory. Christ is the victory. Oh, glorious victory is Jesus Christ, our Lord. Be healed, be whole, be shalem, be shalom, so you can do what the Lord has called you to do. All for his kingdom and glory. Hallelujah. And all of heaven is cheering us on.